Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's as simple as tapping that subscribe button, making sure to select all after you have tapped the notification bell. So for those of you that pay attention to the minutes of a video, as you can see, this is kind of a lengthy video, a little bit over 50 minutes, and it is because I have some extreme whimsy fairy tale decorating that is about to take place and be completed here in my entry or foyer area um, as well as the front door. Now I will be sharing um, evening decorating as well as daytime decorating just so that I wanted to make sure all of you could get um, the whole feel, just all the magic. It's, it's to me, it's just so magical. I can't, I cannot even begin to tell you all how honored, truly honored I am to be able to share a bit of my, my mind and my heart in my little fairy tale world with you all. So that being said, let's begin. Shall we? So I believe I am going to begin right here in the corner where this two-tiered stand is at. Now, when we were living in New Jersey, that's when I purchased this piece. Um, and I, I believe I was on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a close-up of all the detailed painting on these two trays. The more detail, the better for me, that's for sure. Okay, so this first piece I actually purchased this some time back when we were living in New Jersey. I don't know much about it other than I absolutely love this piece. It's very heavy. I'm having a hard, it's pretty difficult holding this up. Um, it was a Facebook Marketplace find. It does have what looks to be like, you know, a king and a queen. Um, very heavy. I believe this to be a porcelain with brass. Um, again, I, I purchased this off of, I believe it was Facebook Marketplace for $50. Now, I know that was an absolute steal for this piece. And here is the lid on top. It was a couple, they were actually 
downsizing, they were moving into New York. So I decided to take the lid off and just place it right there in the corner for right now and we will be revisiting this in just a moment. But next we have Truly Scrumptious. She thought she would come in for a visit during our fairy tale decorating. Truly was purchased off of Facebook Marketplace. This is a, a vintage, um, I just always say a vintage wooden duck. Um, when that's what I Google or search for on Facebook and every now and then I get lucky and one pops up. Her buttercream yellow colors are absolutely perfect and they pull from the vase. So I like how the vase is, you know, it's kind of fanciful, right? <laughs> and then truly, you know, she's just, she's just sweet. So sweet and fancy go well together. I have a couple of brass candlesticks. These were actually purchased off of Instagram. Um, I will be sharing her site very soon. I wanted to make sure to give her a, a drop down window because she's just amazing at what she does. Her prices are so fair. So I have the two brass candlesticks. And then I decided to add in something different. At first I was going to put in another brass candlestick, but I decided let's switch it up a little bit. And I'm going to add in this sweet little lantern. It has that little Edison bulb. And this piece was purchased from Home Goods. And there was just the one. Believe me, if there was more than one, I would have purchased them. I placed it in between the two candlesticks. Now I was going to do a little bit of a decorating haul, but I really didn't have enough pieces to share. So, well, this is a new piece. There's actually two of them bookends and they were purchased from the flower gallery in Manassas. They're going, they're just perfect for the fairy tale theme. They're very old. They have all the chippy goodness. Couldn't be more perfect. And on top of the radiator, as you can see, it's dark, you know, on top. And so I thought, let's lighten things up a little bit. Now this right here. Okay. I'm going to spend a little bit of time here. This is a classic fairy tale book that actually um, was gifted to me from Scott Gus Gustafson. Um, I try my best to mention the last name. And as you can see inside is um, one of my prints, not print, I shouldn't say print, excuse me, my artwork up on the wall. Uh, my Little Red Riding Hood is actually, the story is actually inside this book. But if you look at all these illustrations, they are fabulous. His, his lighting and colors, it's it, just really, really, really um, remarkable work inside. Now there's a series of four books and I'm going to be sharing in a moment where you can purchase these. Now here is the contents of some of the stories in this book. As you can see, Goldilocks, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Puss in Boots, Little Red Riding Hood, one of my favorites, Snow White, Tom Thumb, Hansel and Gretel, The List, The Frog Prince, magical. The list just goes on and on. And this is his classic fairy tales. Mm -hmm. 
the next one is Storybook Fables. And just look at this work right here. Beauty and the Beast. I mean, just incredible. Scott is incredible. I found him many, many years ago. So here is his website, Scott Gustafson. I highly suggest that you go and visit him. Many different uh, pieces of artwork are there, uh, lithographs, uh, storybooks, um, even gift cards. The list goes on. He's an American illustrator and he has been sharing his journey for over 25 years with many of us. And I just love him so because he takes me back to my childhood and just takes me to those special moments that I absolutely cherish. Now, these books, I highly suggest you all to add them to your library, share them as for gifts uh, with your grandchildren or your friends. Again, go visit his website. You will not be disappointed and let him know the little blue fly sent you. He would be very happy to hear that. This is uh, from The Ugly Duckling. Storybook Fables. And again, he will actually sign at the beginning, personalize it for you if that's what you choose to do. And of course, everything. He just makes it magical all the way through. Now, I did mention some time back that I am starting a reading channel with all of these wonderful stories, and we are still working on that. Here's a list of all of the stories inside this book, but I just want to make sure it is absolutely perfect. bedtime stories here we have jack and the beanstalk i mean how precious is this of course you know he's running down you know the beanstalk with you know his magical bird right and the the little squirrel and the crow they have their little silverware and again his lighting and the usage of the colors and all the different magical creatures throughout just make for a wonderful story time whether you're alone or you're sharing it with your grandchildren just hours and hours of entertainment and wonderful memories to be made inside these books the country mouse and the city mouse you know, I, I don't even think I've, I, I have not, I have not experienced that journey yet. So um, I will be taking a look of the, into that one shortly, but many to choose from. And this is his bedtime stories. And the last of the four. Mother Goose. Who does not love Mother Goose and all the nursery rhymes? Again, absolutely magical illustration all the way through. I cannot, I mean, every day we get closer and closer to um, starting this reading channel and I cannot wait so just hang in there a bit longer because it, it's going to happen many many nursery rhymes and they always make sure to include a, a sweet little bookmarker as well
trying to open this up. And here we have Pat a Cake. I also own um, this artwork right here. It just has not been framed yet. I probably, ugh, if I had to guess, I believe I have still, I don't know, maybe about eight pieces of his artwork to still be framed. I'm sure they're going to go um, up in our magical reading room. So please, everyone, go take a look at Scott's site. Okay, so I placed all of his books inside of the bookends, and that will be their forever home. It just works perfectly with the staircase and all of his artwork going up. Here I just have some dried floral stems that I will be placing right here inside the vase. Didn't, I just didn't want anything too fussy, wanted to keep it simple, and I thought these dried stems would work perfectly. And now we just need to give it that little extra, um, like, pop of excitement, whimsy excitement. And here we have Mackenzie Childs. She's coming to play for a bit with her striped candlesticks. Actually, candles. And just by placing those in, so much extra life has really come into this window vignette. Once upon a time, down at the bottom of the staircase. And having the books there and then just going up to his beautiful artwork, it just couldn't be any more magical for me. Here's some of the, um, I actually used um, molding clay I have a video um, on this process when I first put together the staircase. If any of you are interested, it can be found in my videos. When I first put the staircase together. Okay, so I decided to bring you all up here on the top of the staircase landing because there's just so much glare um, going on to the pieces of artwork. But first, I wanted um, to share these little, I know there's a proper name for them, but for now, I'm just going to call them um, antique metal embellishments. They, um, I found these pieces at an antique store and I thought, so I have this little reproduction of the spinning wheel and I thought, well, you know, since gold is coming from this, um, I want to embellish this piece with gold. I'm going to turn this, I'm trying my best to hold this piece and the spinning wheel but I'm going to turn it so you can truly get the, here's the true color much better. So I'm just going to place them on the sides, but we'll do that later. That's not in today's video. Here we have Peter pumpkin eater. Now all of this artwork was framed um, at Hobby Lobby. 
And this is actually two frames that were placed together. I just, I just wanted a, wanted a little bit more. I didn't just want one single frame. We're going to go over to this side where we have Little Red Riding Hood. Absolutely magical. The two frames again. The light just perfect. It's like the lighting is following behind her sweetness to that wicked old wolf right there. The lighting coming in through the tapestry curtains. Such innocence. Now this right here, I did not double frame this piece. I just did one very large ornate frame and because it's Rumple. So Rumple just has, he has to be a little bit more grand than all the others because he's the master. He's the grand master out of all fairy tale characters, Rumpelstiltskin. And all the black matting is um, velvet. Down here at the bottom, these, um, I actually do not remember the name of his site. Uh, I have shared this piece before. Um, it came as a kit, but the wallpaper backing, that was different. Um, I actually purchased that from Maryfield Garden. And inside the frame, we have Lord Baxter III. And he can be purchased um, online. I would just Google large brass um, wall rabbit, if that helps. Now I believe we are going to start decorating on this table now. And we're going to start things off with this lamp um, I purchased from Ballard Designs. So the base of the lamp is brass, very tall. Um, I wanted for it to go up because of the corner. I, I wanted to bring the corner up and out. Um, shorter items would have just made it to me look like a little dark corner and I did not want that so the base is brass so the candlesticks over to the side are brass as well so I'm playing off off of them a bit and the lamp the lampshade is also from Ballard Designs it is a uh, black linen but I want to dress it up a bit it's just just a little bit too plain for me and in this video, well, actually always when I decorate, it's all about the embellishment. So we are going to embellish the lampshade with this metal trim that was purchased from Hobby Lobby. It used to be silver. Um, I just painted it with antique gold and glazed it. And I have several videos um, demonstrating this process. Doesn't that look so much better? I am loving it. I love how the black linen is coming through the open pieces of the metal ribbon. It gave just that perfect um, old world fairy tale touch. Before I forget, that ribbon can be purchased in the bridal area at Hobby Lobby. Next, we have this piece actually, I purchased it at, at the same time as the vase in the back. It was $50 as well. I don't remember, I know I mentioned it before in a video, but they paid 
Oh my goodness, so much for this piece. I never would have purchased a piece that much. Um, but for $50, uh, definitely. Very heavy piece. If any of you have any information on these pieces, please let me know. I know one of you out there are it's just a wealth of knowledge. You um, stated you've been selling antiques for many years. So if you come across this video, I would love any information that you could give me on these pieces. But we're going to be decorating um, very simple up at top in this piece. I just placed in, normally this sits in my sunroom. I thought, okay, let's bring it in here. It is one of my ivy wreaths that has burlap around it. Given that it's giving out those um, good old world vibes. And I love the real plants. And just um, some a stack of books that are bound together by some simple jute ribbon. Perfect old world colors, the look. And we, we're just going to place them right down here on the side. And now to move down at the bottom, down to the bottom, and we need a little bit of light going on down here. I love how all of this is coming together so far. The old radiator, the brass of this radiator is in excellent condition. So by no means would I ever think to paint, uh, think about painting that piece. I have this old vintage frame that was a Facebook marketplace find. And I, I tell you all, it. I really feel my pieces find me, not so much me finding them. You know, it just, I go on there quite frequently. I just type in what I'm looking for and sometimes things pop up. As you can see, it's quite a, a thick frame. So I wanted something down at the bottom that was really going to bring light, richness, and just make things really stand out. So I'm getting the richness from the frame, and I'm getting the light from my sweet potted plant. Now, this was purchased many years ago um, from Hanson's Furniture in California, and I absolutely love the greens in these florals here and in a moment you're going to see how it just really brings light to the bottom and there we have it absolutely so sweet so sweet it, it just gives off um my goodness the whimsy the french country the old world they play with each other so well. I think that's why I love all three of them so much. Now we're going to shift over here a little bit um, to my home sweet home sign. Uh, that used to be just a galvanized metal that I painted gold and then put some antiquing glaze and I purchased these chains off of Etsy from a jewelry store and just thought to um, hang, well actually I had to hang it from the ceiling because the sign wouldn't fit in between the space so I thought well we have the ceiling so <laughs> let's just hang it from the ceiling. have my candle sconce Facebook marketplace find and this is another Facebook 
uh, marketplace find. This is a new piece. I actually picked up this piece for $10. Love the green, the gold. That green and gold together is just everything for me. Look at the, chand the crystal chandelier coming through. Ah, magical. Just magical, everyone. I feel so blessed to be able to do this. I just wanted to take you for a quick view through here once more before we finish on with the wall by the staircase. The lighting when I was working over on the wall just came through and it just had that it's all about the magic it's all about the light so I thought let me come back over here and give a good close-up since this light is coming through Okay, so now back over onto the wall, I have placed on the mirror. Now, when I purchased this piece, I did not even intend for it to go there at all. I was just going to place it on a tabletop. But as I was decorating, I was like, oh my goodness, this is absolutely perfect. Okay, we're going to finish back up by that mirror here in a moment. But right now, we are going to work with this black chest that it's actually from Butler. Now, I have seen many of these and that two-tier stand on Facebook Marketplace. Just recently, I actually seen one of these buffet chests and it was $75 on Facebook Marketplace. So they're out there. Up at top, I placed my two lamps. Now the lamp bases, they were purchased from Kirkland's, oh goodness, um, oh a good over 15 years ago. And then the lamp shades, well I just purchased some red lamp shades to pull the red out from the, the lamp bases. And I just added on some trim that had a, I was going for that a fairy tale look and feel even way back when. Now this piece right here, we're, we're going to have some fun with this piece. We, we are going to travel and have some wonderful journeys. This is going to be our traveling quiet box. This piece was purchased from Michael's they still have them for sale there. Love all the natural wood tone. The brass look. Metal latches. The leather handle. And we will be continuing on with this piece. Not today, but in the near future. Now oh, the light is just really coming in beautifully right now. Couldn't be more perfect.
Okay, so we have the two lamps that I'm placing here on top of the chest. And now we're just, we're going to keep things um, a little bit simple on this piece. Simple for me anyhow. <laughs> we, I'm going to add this uh, quiet box case right on top. And again, we will be revisiting this in the near future. Just gonna open it up one more time. I like how it has that line going down the side, making it look like, I don't know, were we trying to get away quickly and maybe the case dropped? Oh, I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. <laughs> My mind is just spinning right now. And so I placed the case down at the bottom, up at top. I added a very old willow basket. It's thundering outside again. I'm, gonna, I'm going to take you in close here for a moment. I have this long greenery and um, I wish I could remember where I purchased this piece because I surely would love more of it. And I'm just going to wrap it around whenever you can. I know Hobby Lobby has um, many of these long garlands and they're great for um, decorating because I really love for uh, you know, my florals to look. It got caught up in that. I tell you. Anyhow, um, I like for my florals to be free. I, I too much don't like to do anything, uh, whether it be floral or my decor. Um, I'd like for it all to be free, not, not one that likes to stick with form. And I'm just wrapping it about around the handle. I'm going to let some just come off the front of the basket. Again, whenever you work with your florals like this, try your best to really spread apart the branches so you can um, really get the most out of your piece. And I thought, okay, so it's a vine. What do we know vines like to do? Well, they like to climb, so <laughs> we're going to let a couple of these vines climb up some of my spindles on the staircase. So I had two branches go ahead and wrap around the staircase. And it's just being free, going wherever it wants to go. And now we will be filling the inside of the basket. I'm going to start things off with this old book. It has no cover but it is the perfect color and the height that I need right now. Books are great um, as risers. And I have this um, vintage, it's gold, it's ornate, it has patina, it's perfect. It's old world, it's French country.
Okay, this next piece, I know I have shared this piece before and I would love to do it again. It is a very old diary. I don't know how many of you remember how old, but I'm going to share this again. I'm getting it open. I'm very, very careful with this piece because it is over, well over a hundred years old. 1891. Look at that. 1891. Now, for its age, this diary is really in excellent condition. I've had this piece for many years. Now, you can see up at the top a little bit, you know, right there, there is just a little bit of a break. So I'm so, so careful with this piece. You know, it's those old special pieces that just really bring in so much character when um, I decorate. And it takes my mind places. I'm not just decorating everyone. I really, I go on a journey in my mind. And some of you might think that to be odd, but I think it's fantastic. And here we have Stuart. He has his little top hat on and his little bow tie. And I'm going to place him right on top of the diary because he's going to be the keeper of all of my upcoming uh, decorating dates, all the different journeys that we have coming ahead of us. I placed in one of my old clock faces and placed a glass cloche on top and added in just a little bit of moss going around the gold pedestal. I just want, wanted touches of moss. I didn't, I didn't want to take it all around this time. And it just gives that extra fairy tale old world look and feel. And I'm just going to place on this. Now, many of you are, has, are, you've let me know what this piece is and I've already forgotten. Um, I do apologize. So I am just, will be using this as a little candy dish. I love having little sweeties in the hallway when we walk by, but for today, there's not going to be any sweeties on the table because there's no sweeties to be had. <laughs> They're all gone. <laughs> okay, so we're going to continue on with our sconce. I decided I did not want to go with a candle on a sconce I wanted something different and it actually sinks down in so I'm using that little coaster to hold up this vintage clock from Germany and I placed a glass cloche on top So the clocks are playing well with one another here in the corner. The sun is starting to go down. So, and this is great because I want all of you to experience what I experience in the evening as well as the daytime. I placed in my uh, vintage uh, flower market basket. I found this piece many years ago in California at a garage sale. And for right now, I'm going to keep it right there. 
Look at the sun, it just is going down more and more. And I want to make sure that this piece is, uh, that it functions very well. And so I'm going to place in my flower market umbrella, actually Bumber Shoot from Mackenzie Childs. So when we have company coming in through the front door, it rains quite a bit here in Virginia. They can just place their bumper shoots or umbrellas inside the basket. Now we're going to move to the front door. This wreath um, I've had for many years. It is called a manzanita wreath. Um, I know if there's many out there to be had and just some greenery. I actually put this together many years ago and I just love it like this so much and just can add in different pieces that I just keep it as is. So it is a manzanita wreath and I just place in some greenery. What's great about this too is when it gets dusty, I just take it outside. I squirt it down with a mild soap water and I rinse it off with water from the hose. I seriously do this and it just all comes back to life. So I'm just gonna go in here and just put things all about and you will see here shortly um, how I put it all together. Nothing better than pears.